When you're just sitting here having a filming day and your super awesome neighbor brings you a strawberry margarita with sugar on the rim, it's good, but it's very strong. Welcome to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be changing my nose piercings. I'm very excited. That is why I'm so up close and personal with you guys. I want you guys to be able to see everything and all that good stuff. And the reason why I'm filming this, a lot of you are probably like, okay, so what? Like change your nose piercings. I get it. But this one over here, I have not changed yet since I've gotten it pierced. And today is the day. It has been about eight weeks, so it's ready to change. And I got some jewelry. It all matches. And I am just really really excited about it. So that's what we are going to be doing today. I have in my just curved barbell horseshoe septum ring in. The reason for that is because since I got this nose piercing, I can only have a limited amount for work. So I couldn't have the two on this side and then my clicker. So for right now, I just had to put this in for work, but I do want to put my clicker in again. But for right now, we are just going to be changing out my nostril piercings. So the ones that I got are from Body Candy and they just look like this. As you can see, they are all of the L-shaped. Where is this one? Come on, get down here. They are all of the L-shaped kind and I got a total of three of them because I have three total nostril piercings. I got them from bodycandy.com which they have sent me jewelry in the past before. This video is not sponsored. I did buy this with my own money. With shipping and everything I paid a total of $8.96 and these are 20 gauge stainless steel micro ball nose rings and they are L-shaped and like I said I got a total of three of them and I would really really looking for a style like this I really want the kind of like mini micro ball nose jewelry I just think that's like my aesthetic right now it's like what I enjoy what I want for my piercings and now that they all match and this one is ready to be taken out and changed we can go ahead and do that Let's get to it. Well, first things first, I'm going to take out all of the healed ones and we will change those puppies first, which I am so excited to be taking this one out because corkscrews, and I talk about this in my nose piercing pet peeves video that I will have going up soon or it already is up. I cannot stand them because I can't stand how they like hang down through my nose. It like, it bugs the shit out of me. I'm going to quickly take a little bit of hand sanitizer and just put that on my hands. I put too much on. <laughs> yeah, here is what the little jewelry looks like. As you can see, it just has a little tiny ball on the top. And one, two, three, easy peasy. I'm just going to... Oh my god, that is perfect. Do you guys see how tiny that is? Wow, that is like exactly what I wanted. One is in. Now I'm going to pop the second one in. Again, one, two, three. Easy peasy. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed and they don't hang down. They're not irritating and they are the perfect gauge. Usually when I do buy nose piercing jewelry, I usually always try to go with the 20 gauge because it's just what I like, it's what I'm comfortable with, but if you are someone who likes 18 gauge or 22 gauge, that's totally fine too. So I moved you guys a little bit closer just to give you a better look of what they look like, and that way we can change this one close up too. So I'm just going to kind of make this a really quick process. Um, I have had no issues with it healing. It has healed really good. There is no pain. There is no irritation. There is no keloids. Honestly, out of all the times that I have had my nose pierced, this one was the easiest. Like, I barely had any problems with it. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pick my nose. <laughs> so, I just moved the nose ring down a little bit. So, as you can see, it hanging out of my, my nose there. Uh, this one is a lot longer than any of my other ones because it has to accommodate for swelling of a fresh piercing. So, that is why it is so long. So, I'm just going to put a little tiny more hand sanitizer on before I go touching the area and we can pop the new one in. My battery is flashing at me, so hopefully we don't die in the middle of this. So very lightly with my fingernail, I'm just going to start pulling downward and out. So I have removed the piercing. As you can see right there, 
uh, with all the makeup and stuff. Now this is an 18 gauge, so putting in a 20 gauge nose ring, I will feel virtually no pain because for piercings and gauges, it kind of is the opposite. 18 is bigger than 20, if that makes sense. So since I'm putting a 20 gauge into an 18 gauge, I shouldn't feel any pain. And I just wanna show you guys like the size difference. So you guys can kind of know how uncomfortable I've been. So this is what I was pierced with, and this is what I'm putting in. Like, do you see the difference? Like, this is going to feel so much better. So I'm just going to take the ball of it, and I'm just going to slide in. So the trick with L shapes is you want to try to get the pointy part in first. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that again. So this pointy long part, just put that all the way in, and then you're gonna kinda wanna twist up with the shape. So it looks like that. Ah, there it is. Oh my gosh, that is literally the look that I have been wanting. Like that is what I've been going for. And again, absolutely no pain with changing this. I have wiped off quite a bit of my makeup, which I will have to touch up. But that is exactly what I wanted. It's so dainty, it's so tiny, I love it. Oh my god, that looks great. The only thing that I'm missing is another nose piercing on this side because I have two here and one here, but wow, I really like the way that looks. Yes. So that is me changing out my nose piercings. I know it wasn't that exciting, but for me it was. I have been, I've had this jewelry here for a while. I just haven't had time to actually film it. So also, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a huge, huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you turn on the notification bell and all that good stuff. But as always, and until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.